down. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hey, you guys, God bless you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I know that many of you all that you may be busy right now. So I just wanted to drop this quick nugget um, on you and share something with you that the Lord shared with me. And I think that it is imperative for you guys to understand um, what I'm about to share with you guys. So go ahead and hit the hit the uh, share button. Let someone know that we're live. Go ahead and tag them um, into this video. And so listen, you guys, while you all are, are sharing Sharing this video out, I want to remind you that we're having um, we're having a free event November 22nd at 7 p.m. It's called One Nation, a night um, of prayer and prophetic flow. It's going to be Monday night. It's totally free. All you need to do is register. The link is connected to this video. So be sure to share it out. If you're close, drive in. We have people that are flying in. It's going to be absolutely amazing. It is going to be worth your time. All right. So come. Um, November 22nd at 7 p.m. God bless you. Hey, Courtney. Hello, Valencia. Hey, Quella. God bless you, Tracy. Hey, Miss Booker. I see all of my mentees with Push Nation. God bless you. Hey, Jasmine. Hey, Malisha. God bless you, my Quella. I, I also see, see CBK Squad. God bless you guys. Hello, Miss Wilhelmina. Thank you guys so much. Hey, Valeria, miss you. Thank you so much for sharing out this broadcast. Hello, Tierra. I switch over to D. Edwards Ministries. God bless you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for sharing out this video. So listen, um, you guys, one thing I, I want to encourage you, and I want to just tell you that if I was the enemy, I would do exactly what the enemy is trying to do to many of you all. What the enemy is trying to do is to remind you of all of the things that you have not gotten right. The enemy is trying to re remind you of all of, all of the things that you did not accomplish. What he's trying to do is make you feel guilty. He's trying to make you shame. And also he's trying to condemn you. The enemy's job is is not to bring conviction, but to condemn you. And so many of you all need to realize that when you are condemned by the devil, he tried to tell you that there's no way that you can rebound from your fall. The enemy is trying to let you know that you cannot get up. He's trying to let you know that you cannot recover. He's trying to let you know that everybody knows your business. He's trying to let you know that everybody is talking about you. But when you are convicted by God, it is to bring you to repentance and also to bring you into the love of the father and so when you have these thoughts that come up and if they're reminding you of who you are and trying to speak to that place of insecurity trying to speak to that place where you are not worthy then you need to know that that is from the devil I don't know who I'm talking to because God have called many of you all to greatness but all you can see are all of your issues all of you can see is where you've been all you can see is where you uh, the things that you have done all you can see is the trouble that is connected to you. As a matter of fact, the enemy, he want you to feel as if your name has been tarnished beyond repair. The enemy want you to feel as if you cannot rebound from all of the issues and circumstances that you have been a part of. But I have a message from you for you today from the spirit of the Lord. And I want to show you according to God's word so that you know that this is how God feels about you. First of all, the scripture said that there is no condemnation in God. So that means that God is not holding over your head. He's not dangling it over your head. As a matter of fact, some of you guys have done some things that are so bad that you're awaiting on the punishment of God. And so that is not how the loving father is. Anytime that we have a consequence from what 
we have done. It's not so that you can feel condemned. It's so that you can come to a place of repentance. God said that I'm not slack, slack concerning the promises that I have towards you, but I am patient so that each man can come towards repentance. So everything that happens in your life is so that God can bring you to a place of repentance. But the enemy, when he shows up on the scene, his job is to stop you. His job is to keep you from uh, uh, walking into your destiny. His job is to keep you from embracing the promises that God have for you. Watch this. The prodigal son, when he left the house and he began to do all of those bad things, the Bible said that he was in such a low place that he found himself amongst the pigs. And so he decided to go back home. And so going back home, it could have been a reminder uh, to him that he messed up. It could have been a reminder to him that he cannot recover. It could have been a reminder to him that his father was not going to receive him. However, the Bible said that his father saw him from afar. And so that means, watch this. So that means that his father had an eye on him. That means that his father was watching out for him, waiting on him to come back home. He was in his low state, but the father was still waiting on him to return. Lord have mercy. His father was still watching out for him. And when he came home, his father never talked about what he did when he was out in the street. His father began to restore him. And so many of you all need to know that the Lord wants to restore you just like he did with the prodigal son. God don't want to even talk about all of the things that you have done wrong. He wants to restore you into a, a into a healthy place. God wants to repair your name. He wants to help you to get back up. He said the righteous man fall down, but he can get back up again. And I don't know where you are today, but God wants you to know that you can get back up. And every time that you feel as if you can't, here is scripture for you. Let me give you this scripture. And it starts at verse number 20. First John three, verse number 20. Watch what it said. It said, for if our heart condemns us, Lord have mercy. And so that means that the enemy, not only does he take control sometime of our thinking of negative, uh, negative uh, things that we have done or making us to feel guilty or shame, but those negative words sometimes get in our heart and we begin to feel as if people are looking at us from that place of, of condemnation. We begin Began to feel as if people are treating us this way based upon what the enemy have put in our mind that is now in our heart. And so the Bible said that for if our heart condemns us, God is greater than our heart. Lord have mercy. Listen, you guys, thank you for sharing this out because somebody needs to know is that God's love for you that is greater than what's in your heart concerning even the things that you have done. That's why the, the that's why the scripture said that the heart is one of the most wicked. Listen, it talks about the wickedness of the heart. And so you can't even trust everything that your heart say. He said that it is wicked. And so some of these things that the enemy is telling you about yourself, you have placed them in your heart and you can't get up because you are reminded of all of the things that you have done wrong because it's in your heart. But here is how uh, the spirit of the Lord reversed that that's even in your heart. This is how God reversed it. He said, for if your heart condemns you, he said that I am greater than what's in your heart and I know all things. Lord have mercy. He said that, listen, so I'm telling y'all, he said that, he said that my love for you and who I am, I am greater than what's in your heart, even though I know all of the things that you have done. So there are some things that you have done that people don't know. And so God said that I know all of these things concerning you. However, I am greater than what's in your heart. And so that's for those of you all who feel so condemned. That's for some of you all who feel as if you cannot get up. That's for some of you all who feel as you're unworthy. That's for some of you all who feel like you will never sit at the table or as if God won't give you another chance or if God cannot still use you. And so God said, for if your heart condemns you, I am greater than what's in your heart. And I know all things. And then watch this. For those of you all, Malika, 
and Pedro who feel as if maybe you're feeling as if, well, I'm not, con I, I'm not condemned. I don't feel condemned. Well, let me speak to you as well. He said, beloved, if our heart does not condemn us, we have confidence towards God. And so in other words, he said, if you are condemned, he said that I am greater than a com uh, condemnation. He said, and if you are not condemned, he said, that means that you will have greater confidence in who I am. And it's, this is so good to me because either way, God is saying that you are covered. He said, either way, he said, my plans for you, that they're good and they're not evil. I have a future and a hope for you. So however that the enemy is trying to make you feel about your life, about your destiny, about the dreams and vision that he has given you, you know, those times where God is telling you to go forth and you keep feeling as if you're unworthy, as if you can't speak or articulate or deliver the word the way that he's given you to, when you began to compare yourself to other people, God has said either way he said that I got a future and a hope for you either way my plan towards you are very good and so that's why I come today as a prophet of God to bind the spirit of condemnation that have kept you down long enough Lord have mercy you have been long you have been in that pit way too long you've been in that low place way too long you've been in the valley way too long and on today based upon God's word I pick you up and I eradicate the lies of the enemy that will make you feel as if you cannot accomplish the will of God. Thank you so much for sharing this out. Share this out, you guys. Because God said that you're coming out in this season. And I decree and declare that you're coming out with vi uh, with, with victory. You're coming out with Jehovah Nisi, who is waving the banner. He is the Lord. He has already given you victory over the very thing that keeps trying to hunt you. Yes, many of you all have been hunted by your choices of your past. You've been hunted by decisions that you have made. You have been hunted by your choices. But on tonight, uh, on today, the Lord said uh, that I come as Jehovah Nisi. I'm waving my banner. I stand in the gap. I stand in between uh, you and that which have been hunting you. Uh, and he destroyed that off of your life. Uh, and you to be you will be hunted no more. And you will go forth and do what God have called you to do. Uh, that this is your time uh, for you to rise up. Uh, this is the time where the vengeance of the Lord uh, is coming in between you and your enemies. Uh, and God said that as you go forth, uh, I'll stay here as your real God and I will fight every battle. He said as you move forward Forward, I will face your enemies. As you move forward, I will take care of all of that that has been against you. And God said that I am redeeming the time. He said that I am causing you and I am allowing you to reclaim that which was lost. Lord have mercy that this is the hour that God is giving you more than what you've ever thought. That's why condemnation got to be broken off of your life because not only does God have to, to release it, you got to want it. Lord have mercy. And you got to be in position to receive it. And so I encourage you uh, to get up because this journey ahead, uh, that it is so great. Uh, this journey ahead, that it is so marvelous that God has for you. Uh, and I release a supernatural wind of God uh, that will cause you to outrun every enemy, to cause you to outlive every liar. Oh, God said that I'm going to vindicate you uh, and I'm going to raise you up in front of those who have tried to destroy your character. He said that I'm going to raise you up uh, and I'll make sure that you're more uh, that you are wealthier than those who have tried to destroy you. Uh, God said that I'm going to release vengeance uh, towards your enemies uh, and I am freeing you from the condemnation uh, that have come from the devil. Lord have mercy. Thank you so much for sharing this out. Yeah, be condemned no more. Get up. Get up out of that grave. Get out of that low place. Come on. Get up out of that bed. Get out of that pit. Because some of you all are walking around, like I've said before, like a zombie. You're walking around like a mummy with no life in you. And so I bind the suicidal. I'm talking about that spiritual suicidal uh, uh, um, ammunition that has been launched towards you. I'm talking about the emotional uh, suicidal uh, uh, place that the enemy is trying to make you just kill your own bloodline off. He's trying to make you kill your own vision. He's trying to make you kill your own dreams, uh, but no more in the mighty name of Jesus. Be free, be free, be free, be healed. Uh, oh yes. And know that God is fighting for you, that he is vindicating you, uh, that you shall no longer be guilty. The Lord said, thank you, father. I just heard the Lord said that I will serve the sentence for you. Kudaman Shataya. Yes. Even things that you have been guilty of. Uh, the Lord said that I'll take this one. He said that I'll serve the sentence for you. Uh, I'll 
I'll turn myself in, daughter. I'll turn myself in, son, so that you can be free to do what I've assigned you to. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, yes, God said that I am coming to your rescue. Kuman Shata. God is rescuing many of you all right now. The rescuer is here in the name of Jesus. The rescuer, he is here to save you. The rescuer is here. He's here to deliver you. The rescue is here to break you out of that jail cell, to break you out of that low place. The rescuer is here in the name of Jesus. And I decree and declare that you are set free and whom the son has set free. Don't you ever allow anybody else to condemn you. Don't you ever allow anybody else to make you bound. Don't you ever allow anybody else to make you fall short of his glory and to know and to know that there's a place that God have for you at the top. So I just I, I just pray that on today that you will move forward. Thank you for sharing this out, that you will move forward and you will do what God have called you to. I'm telling you, y'all, some of you all, thank you, Father. Some of you all need to clean your eyes out so that you can start seeing yourself the way that God see you. And so that condemnation will not rest upon your life. Many of you all don't even realize how great you are because you thinking that God is serving you or that that that, that he's just just uh, just want you to have a miserable life. No, that ain't God's plan. He said, I got a future and a hope. He said, I'm going to give you a hope that transcends a faith. Lord have mercy. Your hope is changing from hope into faith. It's, tra it's transitioning from hope and faith. He'll give you hope, but that thing needs to also be a, 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 a transcend. It needs to change into faith, from hope to faith. So he said, I'll give you initially what you need. I'll give you the hope. But God said that I'm going to give that that thing needs to turn into faith. And so how do you turn it into faith? You start moving and you start doing exactly what God have called you to do. Do what God have called you to do in this hour, y'all. Do what God have called you to do. Uh, you are free to do the vision, to do the dream, all, all of the stuff that God have called you to do it. Shoot. I release a do it anointing. To be released upon your life. A do it anointing. Do it now in the name of Jesus. Don't hold back. You got one life to live. Live it to the best of your ability. Live it joyously. Live it happily. Whether you are uh, bound or in where you are locked up in chains or whether you're outside of them, learn to enjoy whatever life and whatever hand that has been given to you. Learn to enjoy, but don't discredit the power of God while you're there. Oh, don't this don't don't make don't make the low place your permanent place. Don't make the low place your permanent place. Don't make your low place the permanent place. Don't be so condemned thinking that you will never be able to come out of that. Yes, you won't always have bad credit if you start making good choices. You won't always be broke if you start making good choices. Come on. You won't always be struggling with your health if you learn how to make good choices. You are one choice away from, from, from your breakthrough. Come on, make the right decision in this hour. Well, I love you guys. I appreciate you. I look forward to seeing you guys November 22nd. You need to go ahead and register. We are we are halfway, registration is halfway filled. So I need you guys to go ahead. We're only making room for 100 people. And so we already have 60 people who have, who have reserved. And so this live is the first day that we're releasing the seats for you to register. So it's a free event, but you must register, okay? All right, so go ahead. We look forward to seeing you guys. We love you. We thank God for your life. Be condemned no more. Be guilt-free. Be shame free. Walk in the peace, the love, and the adoration of God. Receive the love of the Father because his love, it will cover a multitude of sins in your life. God bless you guys tremendously. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I love you guys. God bless.